Hi guys, well it's weekly wrap time and again I'm by myself, uh, my mate's not here. Uh, would you believe we're getting close to uh, uh, Magic Millions yielding, uh, yielding sales and uh, Chris is actually out studying the form for that, going through the catalogue. Um, it's amazing to think we're already nearly back there. So uh, Christmas is coming and uh, soon after will be the yearling um, sales and uh, can't wait, but um, he's just out, uh, tucked himself away, got to get through it. So there's, there'll be, there's a record number again and uh, looking forward to it. But uh, fortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, there's, there's not a lot to report uh, from the past week, all the coming, but I'll get to that. Um, I really wanted to mention, you would have seen uh, this morning, the invitation come out for uh, our Kieran Ma um, open day uh, down at Bong Bong on the 1st of December in a couple of weeks time. Look, I'd really recommend you try to get there if you can. It'll be a fabulous morning. Uh, it's a spectacular, it's a spectacular place. The facilities are amazing. Um, Chris and I were there yesterday and uh, yeah, look, certainly well worth a look. And uh, yeah, there'll be a few of our horses there that will parade and uh, then we'll go for a bit of a walking tour. So if you can make it, uh, register your attendance and get down there and uh, look forward to seeing uh, plenty of you there, hopefully. Uh, this week, uh, as I said, very quiet, uh, very busy last weekend, but uh, not nothing on tomorrow. Uh, so day off tomorrow. Uh, some very good racing, which I'll get to in the uh, uh, Red Hot Tips, but uh, uh, nothing for us. So we uh, kick off our week on Tuesday. We've got Sweet Proposal in her second trial of the preparation. Uh, she was she was really good first trial, nice quiet trial, but uh, um, looks like she's returned well and she'll be asked a bit more on Tuesday and uh, then she should be ready to go to the races. So uh, ex exciting times there. Um, she had back-to-back -back wins before she went for a spell, so uh, hopefully, she, hopefully she can pick up where she left off. Uh, another um, trialling um, is Diablo Bolt, his first trial of the preparation at Durban on Tuesday. Uh, it'll be a quiet trial, but uh, he's a lot. he's got a lot of work. Looking forward to seeing him step out um, on Tuesday to start his preparation. He's just been on fire up in Queensland, so uh, um, looking forward to see what he what he can do this preparation. And then we move on to Thursday. We've got Zoo Prince nominated at uh, Hawkesbury. Uh, Zoo, Zoo Prince was a little disappointing uh, last start. We had high hopes for him and uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, he was a little disappointing. Uh, he did pull up pretty scratchy after the run, so he's had a couple of um, a, a quiet week or two. Um, and I'm sure whenever he steps out again, he'll bounce back and uh, hopefully be in the winner's circle. Uh, we'll just see how it pans out next week and whether he steps out uh, next week or, or we wait till the following. But uh, but yeah, really keen to get him back to the track and uh, right or wrong. So. Um, so yeah, so uh, but that's it, guys. As I said, it was a quiet, uh, it's a quiet couple of weeks after after a fairly big carnival. So moving on to red hot tip time. Uh, firstly, just wanted to mention I kept I kept the wins coming last week. Uh, Ray Magniero uh, paid five dollars. That was one of my tips. Uh, I did say it wasn't my tip, and uh, but for all those favourite punters, I'd love to know. Um, Via Sestina, uh, I did mention her, but not as a tip. Uh, she won at a dollar fifty-five, and just an incredible horse. So, uh, uh, reckon there's a few more wins uh, for her. Uh, they've just confirmed she'll go to next year's Cox Plate, so uh, she'll look to go back to back. But uh, yeah, so um, this week Chris has dialed in his tips, um, which is good, and he's got a cast of thousands. So uh, strap yourself in. Um, one, two, three. Four of five favourites, so uh, won't surprise you. Starting at Canterbury tonight, uh, race three, number one, Queen's Rhapsody, two dollars fifty. Uh, he didn't put his, uh, he, he didn't put the uh, the price when he sent it to me, but I just thought I'd add it for a bit of humour, or well, humour myself anyway. Uh, so race three, number one, Queen's Rhapsody at Canterbury tonight. Also at Canterbury, race four, number one, Vaguer. Uh, paying $4. Race six tonight, number six, 
Kerguelen, um, $2, uh, favourite. Um, Caulfield, tomorrow, race four, number one, Coleman, favourite, $2.30. And race seven at Newcastle tomorrow, number one, uh, giving you the most value at 440, Altoff. Um, and he said it was a guaranteed winner. So uh, so there you go. There's plenty there to work with, um, particularly if you're a favourite backer. Uh, me, tomorrow, uh, Newcastle, race eight, the Hunter. So Newcastle is the Metro meet tomorrow. Race eight, the Hunter. I'm on number four. Far too easy, paying $4 coming off a Kosciuszko win. Uh, then moved to race nine at Newcastle, the Beaufort. Uh, I'm on number eight, Nickow Spur, paying $8. Uh, Queensland Horse cupping, coming off some good wins, so it uh, um, be interesting to see uh, what it can do. Moving to Caulfield, uh, race nine, the Group 1, Sir Rupert Clark. Uh, I'm on number four, another will. Uh, second favourite, paying about four fifty. Looking to go back to back after a very emotional win on Derby Day, um, uh, with the death of the owner uh, uh, in the week before. Uh, Kieran Ma trained, and then race ten at Caulfield, the How Now Stakes, uh, number six, Cigar Flick. Paying thirteen dollars, so um, so look. Hopefully, uh, nine nine bets. Hopefully, you can get something out of it, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, look, guys, uh, as I said, quick one, quiet one. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't rain all weekend. It has uh, rained today, but um, good luck. Good luck if uh, if you're out and about, and uh, we'll see you next week.